Well, looking out from our Monarch Skycam, we are seeing some sunshine despite a cold front being just on our doorstep sitting across eastern New York. It's been bringing in some patchy cloud cover throughout the day. Temperatures today more seasonable. Currently, we're only checking it at 65. You can see a couple of showers on the radar, but they are fizzling out as we speak and they're light to begin with. So it's very unlikely that anything's going to come into Western Mass. Areas that could see a sprinkle, maybe Berkshire County and getting into the Hilltowns, but I doubt even that. So as we take a look at your 24, it's a fairly uneventful evening. We'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies, more cloud cover expected for the hills. It'll try to come into the valley, but really it looks like we could stay partly cloudy through the rest of the night. So some low cloud cover and fog could potentially form again through tomorrow morning. Temperatures will dip down to either side of 50 degrees to start off the day. So cool, but seasonably so. We'll have early morning cloud cover giving way to more sunshine as the day goes on. It looks like a pretty decent Thursday on tap, but it does get unseasonably warm or maybe seasonably warm. Depends on your point of view. Temperatures, though, for the afternoon should end up in the middle 70s for the Pioneer Valley and close to 70 degrees farther up in the Hilltowns, getting up into the Upper Valley. A nice weather day, just a little warm for early October. So tomorrow looking dry, cloudy to start and then partly cloudy in the afternoon or even mostly sunny intervals. A wider view of this also want to show you that uh, the remnants of Helene is finally offshore. So luckily that thing's gone and our cold front really has fizzled out. So just some clouds lingering through tomorrow morning and then some drier air builds in for the afternoon. Now wind will take a shift more out of the south southwest the next couple of days. Plus we have a ridge of high pressure higher up in the atmosphere. It's going to allow for another warm up. Temperatures will be mid 70s tomorrow. Friday could be middle to even upper 70s depending on the cloud cover situation. In the morning I think we'll see some good sunshine but then in the afternoon my are hinting at some cloudiness, so that could keep temperatures from getting close to 80, but we're still going to be above normal. Then another cold front is going to be coming in out of the west, but this is also moisture starved, so the chance for wet weather remains very low, and it would occur probably before the sun even comes up on Saturday. Skies will clear out very quickly. It looks like almost a full sunny weekend on tap for us uh, with a good breeze coming in out of the north and east. Dew points are going to climb through Saturday. It might feel a little bit muggy on Saturday, but then drier air is going to build in for the afternoon. Very low humidity on Sunday, but then it shoots back up again on Monday. Now, Monday's cold front does look like it's going to produce at least some measurable rainfall. Still too early, though, to tell how much because the trend has been for these things to turn weaker as they get closer to us. But early Monday morning before the sun comes up, some rain possible, a few showers linger past sunrise. Then we have a weather shift, a pattern shift. And we will start trending cooler than normal through a good chunk of next week. In fact, by Tuesday, highs will be in the middle 60s, even some low 60s expected through the end of the week. Chris and Abby.